Hi guys, welcome to my video. If you knew how many times I've had to re-record this video, boy, boy. Today we're talking about studying pharmacy overview. So as you, some of you may know or may not know, I study pharmacy at uni. I'm currently in my second year. So I thought I would give people an idea of exactly what pharmacy is because I have got questions where it's like, so you do you just like go to class and learn about drugs? So what's paracetamol about? People do genuinely think that we go to class and then every lecture we have is on a different drug, but it's not. If it was, that would be so easy and life would be great and I'd just fly through pharmacy, but it's not. So I'm going to give you an overview on studying pharmacy, entry requirements, the structure of the course and career aspects. So number one what is pharmacy i'm trying to think of some of the topics so we study pharmacology which is like the drug and the body interaction we do pharmaceutics which is like the synthesis of drugs do chemistry do human biology and, and anatomy and we also do maths so like pharmaceutical calculations and we crazy love i thought i left this behind in a level but i didn't we do physics so we do we do things on like Newton's law and friction and yeah it's a wide 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 range of things that we cover we don't just cover drugs we cover a lot of other things as well entry requirements depending on what what depending on what <laughs> depending on what school what university you go to entry requirements do change it's not like a set one across all the boards so in some universities it might be ABB and in other universities it might be A star AA so it does vary a lot which brings me on to the structure of pharmacy pharmacy is four years but technically it is five years so you do three years undergrad and then you do a fourth fourth year in masters of pharmacy and then you do a fifth and then you graduate and then you do a fifth year a pharmaceutical setting so you do a fifth year in a community pharmacy a hospital pharmacy, industrial pharmacy so for example you can do your pre-registration in Lloyd's pharmacy or well pharmacy or um, Boots pharmacy so all those different pharmacies you can do it in a hospital or you can do it in industry it is technically five years because it's only until you pass your pre-reg so after you do your pre-registration here you have an exam at the end of it so it's not only until you pass that exam that you are truly a qualified pharmacist registered qualified registered pharmacist that's why it's called pre-registration career option after you become a registered pharmacist you can there's so i think one thing i love about pharmacy is that there's so many things you can go into so many people just even me i just thought you know community pharmacy hospital pharmacy that was it i didn't even think about the industrial side of it or the legal side of pharmacy you can go into so much so obviously you can work in boots or wells or lloyds pharmacy you can work in a hospital as well so you can work there clinically check in patients that they're actually getting the right medication that they need industrial pharmacist this is what industrial pharmacy this is what i didn't really know about but um got to learn more so you can work in synthesizing drugs so making paracetamol making aspirin making all these different drugs you know doing clinical trials doing human trials everything like that for to put your drug on the market industrial pharmacy it's not just this is something i find great it's not just working out for drugs and stuff but makeup companies face wash companies you know like skincare companies like maybelline avon mac the weaver um simple um dove even toothpaste like colgate all those things are classed as pharmaceutical um pharmaceutical products so you can actually work for those companies so you can work in formulating a lipstick you can work in formulating powders and foundations and things like that honestly it's crazy there's so much you can do in pharmacy you're not just restricted to working in Lloyd's or Boots or Well you can also go into marketing people who market the drugs selling the drugs and things like that you can literally go into anything you can also do the legal aspect of pharmacy which is um, licensing so you can become a regulatory affair officer and you can go into those places where they are um, 
synthesizing the drugs and you can see that they are like sticking to the rules that they're actually doing what they're supposed to do that they aren't just making up results that this drug does this when it actually really doesn't and I'm sure as you can imagine that when you're when you're releasing a drug into the human population you have to make sure that it doesn't kill anyone or it actually does what it says it does so there's a lot to do with pharmacy if you have any questions please let me know i can help you out and also if you haven't watched my squad tag go watch it all the girls there do pharmacy so if there's questions that you have that i do not know i can also ask them if you want me to do a video on studying during pharmacy at the university that i'm studying at let me know as well and i also do that if you want deeper deeper details and stuff like that you know just message me and comment down below you have my snapchat twitter instagram dm me thank you for watching and i really hope this is in focus because this is like the fourth time i'm doing this video but yeah bye guys <laughs>